Okay, I'm working on something a bit newer for myself at the moment. I'm doing this kind of, I guess it's a floral scene. It's kind of tail end of summer now. And uh, I just wanted to paint something a bit more cheerful. That's why I'm leaning more towards the colour now. Uh, I'm, I'm moving away. Predominantly, I, I kind of always used heavier, darker colours. And I want to kind of lighten up a bit. I'm a bit bored with what I'm doing. And... Um, there's, I'm going to be tackling a few things over the next few weeks, which uh, perhaps I wouldn't have done, which I haven't done before. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. I'm in the process of drawing this scene now. It's a, it's quite a detailed floral type scene, wild flowers. I st even though I've drawn it in quite a lot of detail, I've still got a bit to go here. Um, I want when I actually get around to the painting, I want to keep it loose. I don't want to u let these lines that I've drawn confine me. It's just um, I think because there's so much going on there, you need to have some structure before you start. So I've kind of worked my way through it. I've had to ad lib a little bit because the picture I'm using it's off Pixabay. I will give it to you. Um, a lot of it is out of focus, the the background, so it's very blurry. So, OK, that will be kind of out of focus as well when um, I paint it as well. But I want to be able to pull out the details still um, if, I, if, I cho if I choose to. So we've got a couple of sunflowers and some pink ones there. I can't remember what they're called now. Um, so that's the first stage. Nearly finished the drawing. And then I'm going to get onto the painting stage, which I'll video and um, we can see how it goes. It's not a sort of scene I'm comfortable with or I've, I've done lots of. Unlike a landscape, I can kind of do it. I'd probably flippant and say with my eyes shut, but they they become a little bit sort of second nature. Um, this is this takes a lot more thinking about, and I think it's going to stretch me more. And I want to be stretched more. I want to do more exciting things uh, with my painting. I don't want to just become somebody doing the landscape time after time after time so let's see how it goes in a little while when i finish the drawing how we got to start with the painting So with the flowers, because I'm not that confident with the flowers, I'm not going to be doing anything too spectacular. I'm just going to paint it in what I call a safe way, just to get the colour in first. And then I'll worry about the rest. The other things later, just soften those edges around the petals. So I've just laid it in with a little bit of a mix of lemon yellow and a touch of cadmium yellow um, just to get some colour in there. The other one at the top is a bit warmer so I'm just going to add a little bit more cadmium yellow to that. I could be off with the colour a bit here but this one's got more kind of shape to the leaves more going on so I just want to be I'm not worrying about I don't care if I go over the lines at all that's not a concern I can add more washes later to that to the whole thing and I can cut in behind it because behind it will be darker darker values later on I won't like I said because I can't sit here following a photograph it's not something I can do so I tend to go my own way a little bit it's probably because I can't physically can't do it I haven't got an eye for detail to um, follow a photograph in great you know detail I just get bored basically and I just like to do my own thing and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that would identify with that there we go. So we've got our yellow in. And like I said, I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm not going to try and do amazing tricks with watercolour. I'm just going to keep it really, really simple. 
Don't want to go too strong with the pink to start with because I want to retain the real light areas of the flowers if that's possible. Now I've got to think where I went. It's quite hard to follow. Follow the drawing. Okay, too dark there. Probably isn't too dark, but I feel it is. It would probably dry, well, it will dry considerably lighter. Okay, there we go. So you can see how carefully I'm taking this. I've just plotted in some of the colours because it's going to get quite confusing. If I kind of do it all wet into wet, it's just all going to merge into one and I'm not going to know what I'm doing really. So I've decided to sort of plot, just to sort of map out the colours first. I can't say I've really ever painted this way before. Um, not quite like this, anyway. So it's quite exciting, really. I'm gonna. It's, quite, it's gonna be interesting to follow it through, even if I feel like it's gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna follow it through and see what we end up with. But I'm just. What I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna get disheartened if it all starts going pear shaped. I'm just going to stick with it and try and make some of it. Even if it's a nice random impression of colours, that's better than nothing, isn't it? You know, so it's what's called the learning curve. And I'm kind of learning. Um, Put some more colour on these. Anybody who's an expert in painting flowers would be watching this and they're probably going to be horrified. And I do apologise in advance. But we've all got to start somewhere. You know, when you're doing something different, it's um, it's a little, you know, it's, it's a it's a new thing. It's something you got to uh, oh, I painted over that stalk. It's annoying. Never mind. Possibly a bit too dark. Let's try and paint around the stalk. Because I think the stalk's important because that's what's going to kind of make the plant look like, I don't know, give it a bit of growth and sort of like it's moving upwards. If I if I uh, obliterate all those then and these are just splashes of background colour I'm doing now. That'll be covered up with lots of greenery and stuff later on then there'll be more just in the distance. Okay, so I've added a few of the greens. I just wanted to see, by adding some of the greens, I could see what the flowers were doing a bit more. So I'm just going to pop the centres in on the flowers. on that one for a minute. 
I can feel that I'm going to have to build up quite a lot of washes on this painting. I'm just, I, I might have mentioned it already, but I, just in case I did, did, just in case I didn't, I'll mention it again. Um, using the Arsh 140, no, I'm not. I'm using the Saunders Waterproof Waterford um, 140 pound hot pressed. That's one of the fancy carrying on with that just want to make sure I don't get too hard on edge around the around the side in places I want to soften it If I get if I get if the edges become hard too soon then it's gonna end up looking like a cardboard cutout type of picture. And we don't want that. So I just want this is just wet into wet. This is just running into the first wash. And I'll be building up different more washes on those later. This background will be a lot darker, so those uh, sunflowers later will really pick out. But I've got to add lots more colour to the petals yet uh, to make them sing. Okay then, I got to this stage, not sure what's going on here. Looks a bit like a kiddie's painting so far. So bearing in mind it looks a bit like a kiddie's bedroom painting, I'm kind of thinking to myself, I've really got to sort of uh, free up and be more expressive and sort of, yeah, I've just been too cautious, but we'll just, we, we're going to carry on with it. We're going to build the colours up, build the lights and darks up on the flowers and all that sort of stuff and show some of the different leaf shapes and whatnot and just see where it goes really it's an experiment and uh yeah I can't say i'm overly excited about it as i look at it right now so uh let's see the next stage
Okay, so I've added a few more darks around the sunflowers. It's starting to look a little bit overworked, so I'm going to have to leave those now. Um, because I don't want to lose what I got in comparison to the... You know, it's not it's not got the brightness that I want, but... You know, it's a learning curve and it's it's, it's quite a... You know, it's a bit of an experiment, really. Um, so we need to start working our way over this side of the page now, sort of pull out these... Uh, God, I forgot, I keep, can't remember what these are called. You all know out there, I'm sure, what they're called. Um, but I can't remember. I've grown them in the garden, strangely, but I uh, can't remember what they are. We'll just call them flowers for... Uh, For an easy way to remember. Soften those edges. So it's just a question of keeping on, keeping on, sort of uh, building up the layers, and you know, I quite like this because it is still, even though it's kind of more controlled than what I'm used to doing. It is actually still, I would say, kind of loose painting, and it's kind of just intuitive type painting. You have a little look around, and you think, well, what will go? What you know? Where do I need? To, can I place a dart there? Is it going to? Will it um, enhance the painting or not? And. Uh, you know, you just keep you keep moving around the painting, doing that. Really, it's it's uh, there's nothing complicated. Just having an eye for design, I suppose, which I don't think I've actually got. Really, I need a, I need a scene that's kind of set out in front of me. And uh, so it all spells it all out, really. But uh, I'm gonna go with what I got. We'll see what. So I'm just trying to sort of look at. I'm looking roughly at the shapes on the computer screen, and I'm kind of. I'm not slavishly trying to follow them by any stretch of the imagination. You would need a kind of a some kind of you know. A, don't want to use the word, but you'd have to have a very clever brain to be able to follow all those shapes. But I want to place some nice darks, appropriate darks, around these flowers because I want them to uh, to really stand out. So you know, this is as, as best as possible, and that's what the aim is really. But what I'm not going to do is make you sit through this. And because it's taking quite a long time to finish it, if I record it, the video is going to be hours long and uh, too, too much. So I'm going to keep popping back and you can see the developments and we'll chat about any problems I incur on the way around. OK, because I think there's still quite a long way to go. I've got this funny feeling I'm not going to finish it tonight, so uh, we may be back here tomorrow morning to do a bit more. So we're still... <laughs> this, I've been painting this now for... let me just check the time. It's about three, near almost three hours I've been working on this painting now. Now for me, three hours is a long time. You know, I usually finish most of my paintings in oh, I don't know, less than less than one and a half hours, I guess. So, but this one you can't. It's all about working around the painting, building up the different areas. Um, which is, oh, I'm going to be repeating myself, and I'll get those people that hate me repeating myself telling me, 
it's this is a completely new thing for me um, I don't usually paint in this style I'm sure a lot of you say don't ever bother again but uh, I've quite enjoyed it actually and um, the reason I'm enjoying it I, I, I don't know if you could even paint this on in the style that I'm doing it on not paper with a not surface because it would be too rough I couldn't do it anyway um, but uh, I've just been careful to make sure I leave all the stalks and everything Because that's what's going to take the eye up through the eye of the viewer up through the painting. I quite like the design aspects of it now. It's kind of warming on me a little bit. Um, I guess there's about another hour, just over an hour's work left on this picture. So it's going to be kind of like a four hour picture painting by the time I finish it. You know, if I, you know, I've, I've had breaks and everything, gone off and done, done other things um, while I'm painting it. But if I was painting, if I sat down and did it in one go, we're looking at about four hours, something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I think of it really. Um, I don't know. The jury's out, as they say, on this one. But uh, it's different. But I would say that you know, even though I'm painting something that is is quite detailed, I've stayed relatively true to my style of just putting the paint on and seeing what happens. Really, I've not. Uh, It's, lovely. it's funny as you're painting it, you feel all these lovely shapes appear that you can paint around. Not that side so much, but this side where I was more confident on this side later in the painting. And that's the side that that's that's what I've learnt there is what I need to take on to, on with me in the next painting. It's taught me a lot with this sort of paper. So that's too warm. So it's been a good exercise trying to paint round a lot of little spiky bits okay I'm kind of coming to the end now I can play about with it for a little bit more um, adding bits just sort of adding some cooler shadows and stuff like that to areas to try and build up depth and stuff like that you know I couldn't video the whole lot because I had to because my eyesight we're all getting older <laughs> and uh, my eyesight's not that great anymore. I've got to lean right over the paper with this sort of work because um, it was quite detailed in places. So I couldn't, there's no point videoing it because all you would have seen was the back of my head. And that wouldn't be much fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. I, I, is it basically is it showing you me doing something different and that might sort of ultimately inspire you to do something different if, you, if you're stuck in a rut I was stuck in a big rut and I, big, I couldn't I wasn't getting anywhere of uh, my work a couple of weeks ago and I'm really pleased I persevered with this today and gave it a good shot you know um to any sort of floral artist out there, I apologise because it's not a botanical painting. It's more of a, just a, a fun sort of design type painting. Pretty picture, I suppose. Um, some would say not even that. But, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it. And um, I'll be doing more of them, I think, because or more similar sorts of stuff. Because I really did get stuck just doing the same thing, and I, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you do the same, and you keep on sort of like I don't know, persevering with it, 
and then you feel really fed up. So um, and we don't get anywhere. So I think it's a bit of fun. I think it's colourful. Uh, okay, this could all be improved. I appreciate that. But it looks like what I wanted to achieve was a bit of a design and I wanted to achieve um, this kind of feeling of it all growing up. Uh, but, you know, essentially I've copied the picture, but I, I haven't. I'll post a picture. I'll post the uh, picture I copied with it. Um, I haven't followed it. I, what I've done, I've used it as a guide and then I've kind of gone my own way because if you tried to follow that, then you'd be... I don't know, pretty bored, pretty pretty quick. This was a painting I did. It's a more of a sort of detailed botanical paint, uh, not botanical, but I did one of these flowers, which I still can't think of the name. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't do it. And I painted that a few couple of years ago. So I understand how the flower works itself, but in this one, I painted them really, really loosely. Um, just just blocked in the colour really. So the, basically, I suppose at the end of the day, the idea is I have just blocked in colours. So if you if you're just starting out and painting and you want to paint some flowers and this type of thing, you could do it. Just try and get the best drawing you can do uh, down, and then block in the colours for your lighter values, your lighter tones of colour, your yellows, your pinks, and stuff like that. And then go in and slowly build up the darker colours. And uh, so, and just for a quick reminder, for some, it's a it's the uh, one forty pound hot press, not surface paper. So, uh, if you enjoyed it, please, please come along to Pure Watercolor, join my site. There's lots of artists there that would love to to sort of inter interact with you. They all like to share their work and stuff like that. And you know, I'm doing more and more video demonstrations and stuff like that as well there. So, I hope you can come along. All right. So, uh, thanks ever so much for watching, and. Uh, Bye for now.